And good morning. Welcome to Morning Minutes with the Fathers. I am Father Deacon John Gresham, and I am a deacon at the St. Basil Orthodox Church, Antiochian Orthodox Church in Hampton, Virginia. And today's edition is coming to us from the sayings of the Dutch Fathers and Abba Peeman gives a word from something that I have some personal experience with back in my youth. Abba Peeman in his 73rd saying, do not judge yourself, but live with someone who knows how to behave himself properly. Um, my ninth grade year in high school, was not my best year. That that year, I used to hang with guys that, you know, it, it was like we would all try to cheat on homework assignments, thinking that we can get over if somebody does this assignment, somebody does that assignment, somebody does the other assignment. And then once when we come in the homeroom, we'll quickly cheat off each other's paper. Um, I found that to be a loser's method um, because I wound up um, bringing home some grades that you would not believe I brought home, especially to my father. My father did not play when it, come, when it came to um, bringing home subpar grades, and he let me know it. <laughs> yeah, he let me know it. But when I began to spend more time with more studious friends, friends that constantly, constantly did their homework assignments, um, constantly studied, you know, all of a sudden my grade started looking like something. You know, when you're surrounded by people of a right mind frame, and you want to mimic those people, you tend to do better in life. But if you're hanging around folk who really don't mean themselves any good, much less anybody else, um, then chances are you're going to wind up falling into a hole. Now, we usually tell give this advice to our children and to our teenagers, but sometimes we adults need to be reminded, especially in this time of fake influences, bad influences, social media with all of its crud um, added to it, attached to it, and we give our attention we give ourselves to these media, social media um, algorithms. They're not friends. They're not even people. They're algorithms that wind up draining us into nothingness. And also there's, you know, still the human um, element of bad influences as well. What we need to find are the good influences. What we need to find are people who live a life of love of Jesus Christ. We need to find people who live a life of striving to be in God's presence, a life of compassion to one's fellow man, a life of constantly seeking to overcome sin and to develop holy virtues. These are the influences that we need in our lives. These are the people that we need to emulate. Um, in the deserts of Egypt and then in Syria and then the forest of Russia and even some of the forests of Western Europe, um, going into the mountains of Ethiopia, and believe it or not, the African Sahel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, there, there was Christianity 
even in some portions of West Africa. The idea was that if you wanted to be holy, that you would find a holy person to live with, that you would find a holy person to help direct you and help you in your struggles and help you in overcoming the sins and developing holy virtues. Not simply looking for this church and that preacher and that choir, but look for somebody who can be a proper example. And I think we probably need to return back to this idea. Let's find somebody, somebody who is behaving properly that we may also behave properly. That's it. That's all I got for you. Hopefully we'll I'll videotape again on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So everybody be blessed. Have a great day.